Hi to everyone. Today the topic is permutation combination as this is a first lecture and in permutation combinations we have to discuss detail about how the we have to do countings throughout the journey of mathematics. In the mathematics this is a very basic fundamental chapters and which has a very wide scopes and wide usage. First of all we will discuss and we know come to know what is the difference between permutation and combination and later on will in this lecture we will compile that uh, how and we will learn how to uh, make the fundamental principles of counting. Let us start. So, as you see this is permutations here in the real life what is the use of permutations that is sub, suppose combination of locks passwords we use in uh, our laptop in our mobile and if a particular series of the number will be there then only this lock will open this signifies the permutations uh, can you see here this is the some phone numbers are there particular phone numbers different persons have different numbers which is the identification number also nowadays car plate numbers are there these are the examples of permutations. Suppose a person is playing on piano. So, in piano if suppose any particular note is different or any particular note is arranged in some another order then the music pattern will be different. So, that is the combination that is the example of permutation and here you can see lot of the word formation problems are also there which is the part of the permutations. Here we can see some real life examples of combinations. Suppose a person uh, or you yourself making a cup of coffee. So, in the coffee what is uh, ingredients are required like water, sugar and coffee. If we take the order different then no matter coffee will be same uh, undoubtedly. So, that is the concept of combination. In permutation we have to consider order. In combination order is not required like the making coffee or picking three finalist, uh, finalist let us say first position, second position or third position. If we select the third position first, second after that and then first no matter first, second, third position will be selected. So, the selection that we, we discuss in combination. And some more examples, let us say suppose in examination we have to select uh, 2 questions out of 5 questions, let us see or suppose uh, here we select uh, any team, this is also an uh, example of selection you see. <coughs> like, uh, other the real exa life examples are some of those clothing, uh, clothes combinations, if you uh, order the foods in restaurant, these are the examples of combinations. Okay. So, now let us uh, start the in this chapter what we will learn <coughs> in this chapter what we will learn let me start methods of counting methods of counting that is multiplication rule and addition rule so two rules we have to go through this is called fundamental principle of counting also we have to go for two more rules that is bijection principle and complementary principle later on we will discuss meanwhile we let us we start for multiplication rule and addition rule so first we have to go for multiplication rule see uh, all the four rules are there multiplication rule addition rule bijection principle and complementary principle okay so here we can say multiplication rule what is multiplication rule if an operation be performed in different in m different wave if we say that operation we perform in m different ways here m different ways and another operation be performed in n different ways so then the two operations can be performed in one after the another here the important word is or or word is important so here how many total number of ways that is m into n ways these are order these uh, operations or orders are consecutively so let's say uh, one of the operation is going in m ways and another in n ways so m into n ways so this is our answer now here in the point is that the word should be and here the word is and right so, you see here the main key word is and, key word is we see and is there, right. So, key word is here and represents. In this and what we see here, uh, the, achha, the uh, okay, these uh, um, 
events can be of finite numbers right we can take this number not for only for two we can take more number more events also but it should be finite let's see somehow <coughs> so let's we take a multiplication principle of formal definition let's say an ordered pair an ordered pair a comma b a belongs to A capital A and B belongs to capital B can be formed in M into N ways. So if order is A has N ways and M ways, so answer is M N ways. Similarly, if instead of ordered pair, if we take N tuples, then the all the events are performed instead of N into M, that is let's say P1, P2, P3, so on into P N ways. So what we can do <coughs> here? We can take that is first uh, event is occurring in P1 ways, second event is occurring in P2 ways, third event is occurring in P3 ways, let us say P3 ways. So P1 into P2 into P3 into P4 into so on into Pn ways. So this is what we can say product of this way we will write, this way we will write 1 to n and Pi. So this is our answer for total number of ways in case of multiplications. To understand this, let me take some numericals or examples here. Suppose, let me have a one, one of the question here, we will do one question. A number of four digit is to be formed with formed from 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Find the number of four digit numbers first condition. if repetition of digit is allowed. Now let us see, if the repetition of digit is allowed and how many total numbers we have here, you can see 6 numbers. Okay. So for first case, let me go for first case. For first case, in first case, what we can see, 4 places are there 1, 2, 3 and 4. So first place can be filled in 6 ways as the repetition is allowed here, here you can see repetition is allowed. So 6 ways and here 6 ways all the numbers can be placed. So the answer will be 6 to the power 4 ways. Okay. So what about if no repetition of digit is allowed, let us say second. Now here the sense is and so that we are using fundamental multiplication rule. Now, if no repetition of digit is allowed, then here again 4 cells are there. In these 4 cells, we can place how many uh, results? So, first uh, place means unit tens, hundred, thousand. This thousand place can be filled in any of one of the six of any one of the six numbers. Then that number we haven't to use because here it is given that repetition of digit is. Uh, no repetition of digit is allowed, right? Repetition is not allowed. So then we can take five ways. Here we can take four ways. Here we can take three ways. So total number of uh, ways in which we can make the four digit numbers. What we think here? So that, that is the concept is and. First place filled and second place filled and third place filled and fourth place filled. So the sense is and. So that is why what we have to do 6 into 5 into 4 into 3. This is called fundamental multiplication rule. So fundamental multiplication rule is 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. That is uh, 30 and uh, 12. So 360 ways. Now another question we see third question. How many number of how many of the number are divisible are by 4 if the repetition is allowed. Is this okay? You can take a screenshot and later on we will go for third one. Okay. <coughs> so for third one, how to solve third one? How many of the numbers are divisible by 4? As you know, what is the concept of divisibility by 4? As divisibility by 4 can be tested out, you all know well that last two digit should be divisible by 4. So first we have to fill the last four digit La, sorry, last two digits, which is divisible by 4, and then we will go for four, another two digits as total four digits are there. So, last two digits, 
how to make this divisible by 4 as the numbers we have 1, 2, 3, 4. Of course, 0 is not there, so 4 will be not there. So last two digits, first we will list out, list it out. Last two digits can be 1, 2, right? Or because 0, 4 and 0, 8 will be not there. So we will try for then after 16, then after uh, 20 will be not there. So then we will go for 24, then we will go for uh, what other? Uh, then uh, 32 is there, okay, and uh, 32 is there, you can see, 28 is not there, so we can't take, so then after 36 will be there, correct, and uh, then 40 will be not there, so 44 will be there, here you can mark this also, 44, it's okay, why I am doing so, later on I will tell, right, meanwhile, after 44, that is, uh, 48 will be not there, so 13 times 52, you can see, 5, 2 we are taking, here we are taking 5, 2, 5 is there and 2 is there, okay, so uh, then after 56, okay, 56 will be also there and uh, then after what we else we can take, that we can, can we take uh, 64, yes, 64 also we can take, now you see. Now, as we can see here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and here 9. So, this two num this two places, what we can do here, that is, uh, these two places can be filled in 9 ways if repetition is allowed, because here in this uh, number, repetition is there. Let me write, repetition is there, repetition is there. Due to repetition, we can fill in 9 ways. In third, we are solving A part. Right. So, last two places we can fill in nine ways, you can see, right, 3, 3, 6 and 3, 9. So, two numbers we had already used. Now, how many numbers are left? You can see these two numbers we had used. Now, how many else numbers we can fill out, fit it out here? So, here repetition is allowed. So, no matter only this four number, this all number we can also use. So, this number we can fill in six ways, this position also we can fill in six ways. So, what the final answer will be? So, let us say 6 into 6 into uh, 9 and that is your final answer, correct. So, now repetition is not allowed, B part, if we take repetition is not allowed. So, in the case when repetition is not allowed, what we can take here, this last two place which is divisible by 4, we have to put, put these all numbers, we can put this number and this number, but we cannot put this number. So. 3, 2, 5 here and 3, 8. So, this last two places can be filled with 8, eight ways and as two numbers we had already used over here. So, these two numbers we cannot take. So, rest 4, this place can be filled in, rest 4 ways and this can place can be filled in 3 ways. So, total number of ways are 3 into 4 into 8, 12, 8 we can write 96 ways or you can calculate this. So, this is the total number of ways in which we can solve this. So, here we are using fundamental multiplication rule, okay. Let us we go for another question. So, another question is here we see a number lock has number lock problem, this is a very common problem you see. So, 0 to 9 are engraved, a number lock has 3 concentric rings on which uh, the digits 3, uh, 9 up to 9 means total 10 digits are there. Only one particular elements of the rings say A, B, C are uh, against as, against an arrow opens the lock, okay. So, what is the number of an unsuccessful attempts? So, total number of attempts what we can take here, total number of attempts, so at, attempts what we will take that is 3 positions are there. In this position, we can fit in 10 ways. So, here also any of the 10 numbers can come, 10 ways. Here also any of the another 10 numbers can come. So, total possibility are there 10 to the power 3. So, these are the possibilities that we can make. But here they are asking that is unsuccessful attempt here that we have to go for unsuccessful attempt. So, not successful here and we have to consider unsuccessful attempt. So, for unsuccessful attempt successful attempts 
attempts are 10 to the power 3 minus 1 because only one possible will be there in which the lock will open that the pattern will be a b c so here 1000 minus 1 what we can say 999 nine, nine. that is the answer so let's uh, take another uh, problem simple numerical that is based on fundamental multiplication rule as what is question let n is equal to 2 to the power 5 3 to the power 4 and here what we can see another number is 5 cube now find the number of positive integral divisors of n say d of n so we have to find the number of divisors divisors you know what is divisors as 2 to the power 5 3 to the power 4 and 5 to the power 3 this is total number so let the number is let me write here so the divisors will be in the form of 2 to the power a only because 2 3 5 these are prime numbers you see 3 to the power b form and 5 to the power 3 form is there so the possibilities of a as highest power possible power of n this is given in the question that is 2 to the power 5 this is 2 to the power 5 3 to the power 4 and 5 to the power 3 this number we have to go for so here the possibility of a maximum value will be 5 the possibility for b maximum value will be 4 and the possibility of 3 maximum will be 3 here that is let me go, and go for c not for 3 so a b c so the possibility of a can be a can be for divisors we can take 0 also okay 1 also 2 also 3 also 4 also and maximum we can take 5 values b what values we can take for here for the divisors this is we have to find divisors actually so the possibilities of v we can give this values as 0 1 2 right 3 and 4 only maximum 4 we can get we can give and c value what we can give c we can give 0 1 2 and 3 now we can say that a can be filled in how many ways 5 ways b can be filled in four ways and c we can fill means c is the place so at a cell we can fill five any of the number as an exponent so that the divisors will be there so in the first case if we solve the first question then what is there so five ways into here how many ways here actually the five uh, up to five we have to fit out so we can go for six ways six ways 6 ways into 5 ways into here 4 ways. So the answer will be 120, 6, 5, 30, 4, 120. Okay, first one is there. Second, we have to go for find the sum of all positive integral divisors. So sum of all positive integral divisors. What are the sum of all positive integral divisors? So for first, we have to go for positive divisors. So 2 to power 0 plus 2 to power 1 plus 2 to power 2 plus 2 to the power 3 plus 2 to the power 4 plus 2 to the power 5 this is the sum of all divisors of the power 2 sum of other divisors for the power b uh, 3 what we can see 3 we can go for 3 to power 0 plus 3 to power 1 plus 3 to power 2 plus 3 to power 3 plus 3 to power 4 we can write like this way right okay so here for c similarly means 5 5 to the power 0 plus 5 to power 1 plus 5 to power 2 plus 5 to power 3 we can take it out and now in this way we can calculate here these values although if you have studied the gp then you can understand what is what we can do here so for gp one can write 2 to the power 6 minus 1 upon 2 minus 1 into because there are six terms and in another one 3 to the power what we can say 3 to the power uh, 5 minus 1 upon 3 minus 1 right and here what we can say 5 to the power 4 minus 1 upon 5 minus 1 we can write here okay so that we can calculate here 2 to the power 6 that is 2 to the power uh, you can say here that is 63 <coughs> 3 to the power 5 that is uh, 481 this is 2 divided by 2 what we can write here and uh, that is uh, 242 what we can write 
and divided by 2 into this 243 and 5 power 4 625 624 by 4 and you can calculate this all so this is our way uh, what we are using here also fundamental multiplication rule what we can see let's see some another problem uh, in which uh, although fundamental multiplication rule is it's okay now we'll go for fundamental addition rule to understand and then we will take some mixed concepts of addition and multiplication rule let's we see how so, okay what is addition principle in an operation can be performed if an operation can be performed in m different ways or operation in another n different ways what we can say let me take here one is here the key word is or if the in the sentence there is the word or then for or word we can use as always addition rule okay and here these principles can be extended also up to finite number as in spite of this one uh, multiplication rule so here okay so here that is answer will be m plus n ways if any operation is done by a operation is done by m ways b operation is done by n ways then a or b is since is here union and answer is also m plus n ways so here also the condition is that no elements should be common in both the events and the sense is that a and b are mutually exclusive events here you know mutually exclusive events let this is a venn diagram i am representing in venn diagram there is no common portion between a and b okay so if we take here for n uh, tuples numbers or higher numbers then what we can do let me see so addition principle let a intersection b is equal to phi what i said that for mutually exclusive events this is also known as what we call mutually exclusive events so this is the condition of you see this is the condition of mutually exclusive events we say a intersection b is equal to phi so if means here in this way here and here so a intersection b is equal to null set phi an element a or b can be chosen in n plus m ways so in the two cases and suppose if we take more than one elements are there a1 or a2 or a2 or so on an so this all the answer will be p1 plus p2 plus p3 plus pn whenever the word is or so combination of for or we have to take m plus n ways or if more than one elements more than two elements are there so p1 plus p2 plus p3 so on plus pn ways let's we take some numericals to understand the fundamental addition rule here you first read this problem and try to understand and then what we can see what we'll do for this so question is a basket contains 12 apples and 10 oranges okay so john takes an apple or an orange here there is john takes an apple first we have to understand this problem very carefully what problem is saying john takes an apple or an orange okay mind this point wherever the word is or and and that you have to finally natural conclusion let me revise once again for or what we have to do addition rule and for and we have to do multiplication rule that you have to keep it in your mind let's start so a basket contains 12 apples 10 oranges john takes an apple or an orange then to, then after taking john one of the fruit means both have options either he can opt to one apple or one orange then tom takes an apple and an orange now look here this is a good common good question and here very nicely they are making the combination of or and and here there is or and here there is and that you have to make out then tom takes apple and an orange in which case does tom have more choices that is the point in which case when means when john takes an apple or orange when john takes an apple or when john, when he takes an orange consider apples and and uh, similarly oranges are distinguishable of course they have to consider different fruits then only for these all elements 
uh, events uh, events should be different not identical which we will discuss in later on in some any else section uh, session so we see in how many ways both of them can take the fruits here two questions they have asked one first we have to decide in which case uh, means uh, tom has more choices means tom has more choices for fruits right and in which case another one uh, overall the combination of addition and multiplication rule let me see and we'll do the question so you see in this question <coughs> as john takes so we have to make the case one first case let's say this is case one in the case one as there are 12 apples and 10 oranges so john takes an apple if john takes an apple i am writing a for apple and j for john john takes an apple right then tom has an apple and and an orange and an orange so now if john opt apple and case 2 will be there when john opt orange orange here john opt apple you can say john took one apple now if he took one apple then how many apple will be left 11 apple for tom then now the tom has got a chance so tom will opt how many apples you see one apple john selected and all the apples are different so how many ways john can take that the uh, another matter first we will consider for tom to make the choices so when tom will take how many tom has how many options to take a one fruit or how many uh, here they are saying that tom have more choices when john uh, choices we have to select so tom can opt how many the tom takes an apple and an orange and an orange due to and we have to make the intersection the minus point so now how many apples uh, tom can opt here one apple john already selected 11 apple and due to this and word due to this and word we have to make fundamental multiplication rule and now for oranges again 10 choices are there so here tom has how many uh, options how many choices so 11 into 10 that is 110 base now if we say john took one of the orange so here tom has in apple how many choices tom opt how many apples tom can opt or he has 12 options for apples 12 ways he can opt any one of the apple and here means all 12 apples are different that is also the point and here another one uh, for oranges as one orange is already selected so nine oranges will be left so 108 oranges so in this way by using fundamental multiplication rule which we have discussed earlier that we had the tom uh, choices for tom now as in the question they are asking that tom have uh, more choices in which case tom have more choices so second case when john opt orange so if john opt orange then tom has more choices and if john opt apple then tom has okay tom has more option no? for apple and john uh, when opt orange then tom has less choices so case one is greater than two case one greater than two first answer completed so when john because uh, here very uh, common understanding that apples number of apples are uh, more so that's why he has more options uh, for this one tom now let's see what we can do for in how many ways both of them can take the fruits both together will take the fruits now you see both the cases are there so we can go either for first option or we can go for second option so how we are saying that we have to go either for first option or we have to go for second option emphasize on the word or or means addition we have to do fundamental addition rule so in the next part of the question next part of the question they are asking that uh, here you have to use in how many ways both of them can take the fruits so total number of ways total number of ways in which they can opt the fruits are so what we can say john has apple how many apple 12 apples 
So, 12 into 110 ways that we have to go for again fundamental multiplication rule, right? 12 ways and then we have to go for means first apple by John, 12 different ways he has option. When John has to go to select apple, now how many options? 12 options will be there and now Tom has to select one apple and one orange successively. So, successively means multiplication rule. So, uh, number of apples 12 into 110 and another option will be there. Why I am using here again plus? Just due to this one. John is case 1 and this is case 2. So, there are the two cases. He, they can go either in this way or they can go in this way. So, if he has to go to select orange, how many ways? 10 ways. If he has to go to select uh, and then after Tom is selecting 108 ways, 108 ways, okay. So, final answer will be here uh, that is 1320 and here 1080. So, now we can calculate this 0, 10, 1, 4 and 1400. So, total number of ways are 1400. See this, is it okay? Let us have a look of on another topic, what we can do. <coughs> so, another question, now let us see, find the number of 4 digit numbers greater than 3400 when the digits are chosen from 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, okay. So, here in this problem, we have to take 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, if the condition is there, the problem is easy, no problem, you have to select the 4 digit, we have, previously we have done this type of questions in the first question you see, but here that the matter that we have to take greater than 3400 and not only 3000, here it is 3400, second digit also we have to consider. So, on the for here, we have to go for two different cases. So, let us say case 1, in this is case 1, right not you can say case 1 that is uh, like uh, somehow you can say like what we can do total 4 digits we have to use right 1, 2, 3 and 4. So, on this first digit what we can first we can account means our strategy is like this way the, the unit tens 100,000 on 1000 place on 1000 place we, we need here 3 or more than 3 numbers. So, more than 3 numbers we can opt for 4, 5, 6. So, this on this position on this first position. So, in the first part of the problem you can say like this way. So, in this 1000 position in this 1000 position what the numbers we can fit over here. Here we can put either 6 or uh, 5 or 4 less than 3 only right. So, this place can be filled in 3 ways three ways. Okay. Now, the matter is that, that uh, using this 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So, this way place we can fill in three ways. Now, here we have to opt the number which is greater than 4. So, greater than 4, uh, 4 or greater than 4 the numbers we can take any one of the number, no problem here. All the numbers can be repeated or not, that is also the pro uh, problem here, but find the number, four digits, nothing is given. We can repeat this also, no problem. So, this can be filled in six ways, okay. This can be filled in also six ways, this can be also six ways. So, the total number of ways in which the thousand place of the digit can be filled in three ways is three into six into six into six, okay. So, this is our answer for four digit numbers greater than uh, you see uh, 3400 it means we are considering 4, 5, 6 we are not using 3 only. But in this case what the answer will be here 6, 6, 36, 2, 1, 6 and here 3. So, 3, 6, uh, 18, 1, uh, 4, 3 to 648, okay. So, 648 will be the method in which the first place means uh, you can say 1000 place we can fill here 654. Now, if we take here on the 1000 position we, we fix 3 only. So, here in this place what we can fill 3 already considered. Now, in this place we can fill more, uh, more than 4 we have to go because 34,000 greater numbers we have to find out. So, more than 4 we can put 5 and 6 ways. 
So not 400 because 400 at zero is not there. So four we can uh, opt here. So this place can be filled in five. You can use five number number five or number six means total how many ways uh, can we use a four also? Uh, yes, we can use a four also by using three. So four also we can use because 34 other hundreds are there. So four, five, six, these three numbers we can use over here. And here two other places, the, these two places we can fill in any of the six numbers, any of the six numbers. So total number of ways are here, this is again three ways. So here, how many total number of ways? Three into six into six. So that is what we can say here. Three into, uh, that is 18, 18, 6, 108, right? So total 108 ways. So total number of ways, uh, we have to take, the, uh, what we have to do, this case or this case. So in this is a right practice, we have to make it by using or or and. So for or word, we have to make all, both the options. Then only we will get all the numbers which are greater than 3400. So here you can see total number of ways will be, here I am writing, that we can write total number of ways, total number of ways will be uh, whatever the answer we are getting in first case and second case that we have to add it. So 648 plus 108. So that is 16, 5 and here 7, 756 is your answer. Okay, so let us see another problem. Now this is the bijection principle that also we have to find out and here in the bijection principle you see, let us go for bijection principle. In the bijection principle, what is that? This is the concept of bijective. As students who are in class 11, they might be not uh, completed that bijective principle. For that, they can skip this little part. Otherwise, uh, students who are already completed function chapter, they can go through, uh, they know the, about, about the bijection principle. By bijection principle also, we can make a accountability or uh, use the counting principle in permutation combination a lot of different places. So, what is bijective principle? Let A, A1, A2, A3, A and B the events and B, B the B1, B2, B3, B and the events. So, for injective and surjective together, we say that is the bijective, that is the condition in injective. We have to make N is less or equal to N and for uh, surjective, what we have to do? For surjective, we have to go for M is greater than N, right? And here for injective function, again, what we can see that for injective function, N is less or equal to M that what we can see here, okay. So for bijective function, combining this both, that is a common, again here you can see this is also a way to, in the definition also we are using the common word and, that is the common here, right. This and this both case together we have to find out. So this is the case of when n equal to m. So total number of possible functions of, uh, although total number of function from a to b, that is m to the power n, b to a, m to the power m, that you all know well here. If you say, then I will uh, revise this concept also. That is a1, a2, a3, so on. an is there. And b1, b2, b3, so on. bm will be there. So from a to b, this is let's say a, and this is let's say b. So from a to b, the number of functions, a to b, the number of functions will be, number of elements in uh, b, this is a base, here m to the power n because this has how many options each and every has m option in images. So here m option, here m option, here m into m into m. So total number of m to the power n ways. This we can also explain like this way. A1 has m option. So uh, A2 has also m option. So this what we can do here. Uh, A1 has m option. B A2 has also M option, another option, so on M, so how many total number of, that is N, so that we can write using fundamental multiplication rule, that is M to the power N from A to B. And from B to A, that we have written here, M to the power N rule. And from F such as B to A, then we can here, again when we go from this to this, B to A, here, how we can take this here? So B1 has how many options? N options. So each and every uh, BI elements has N options. B2 is also can associate with all N options. So 
n into n into n into n so on into n again we are using fundamental multiplication rule so here also this is the concept of n to the power m you can say this is so by using fundamental multiplication rule only we can find the number of total number of functions that we will discuss separately in somewhere else also uh, how to find the number of injective function bijective and other function also meanwhile just we are introducing the concept of bijective function although this is not a bijective function this is a total number of functions but how we will use this concept of bijective in our permutation combination chapter bijective for example that it means the total number elements is present in the domain set and the present in the codomain set should be equal here equal then only we can say the function is bijective if we get somehow two uh, sections two uh, means any phenomena or any type of uh, events two set of events one set of event has some element and other set of event has some elements which has equal numbers and uh, they are uh, linked with one to one 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 correspondence one one correspondence and on to also means on to means surjective and one one means injective so in that situation that is the only case when n equal to m for example suppose in any cinema hall a uh, lot of people uh, buy the ticket and they just went for cinema and they are much watching the movie the downside that is the show is show becomes houseful sama some movie released show becomes houseful so what we conclude that whatever the number of seats will be that that the number of persons has they went in the cinema hall that is the concept of bijective suppose in your class all the students are present today no need to take the attendance why to take the attendance because all seats are occupied by each and every seat each and every seat a uh, one person will sit that is the example of bijective function suppose one or two seats are uh, vacant no students are sitting over there so that it means by the conclusion what we can say two students are present because on every seats one student will sit usually like this so that the concept we can use this bijective uh, function rather than counting one uh, set of events we can count another set of events to make the thing easier and whatever the less part that we have to do the counting here in this chapter we have to make the counting easy the thing else let's see some uh, illustrate okay here illustration is there for uh, that is what is the total number of subsets of the exactly n elements it is well known that is 2 to the power n because here in this way we can make this okay let it so now we'll uh, start the sprint section our sprint section means a different variety of numericals for different different questions let we start quickly you also can you all also can try let's see in this question what they are saying observe the road network in the given here in all other questions now from here onwards in all questions we have to use fundamental multiplication rule and fundamental addition rule maybe together also let's see how only you have to keep it in your mind that for fundamental multiplication rule we have to use the word and we have to search out and word will be there and if the sense of or is there then we have to use addition rule this much only you have to keep it in mind let's start so here observe the road network this is a road network is there this can you see a to b how many number of roads are going are here here you can see a to b what we can say that uh, number of roads are here a 1 2 3 3 three roads are going on 1 2 and this is 3 from a to b so what we can conclude that from a to b from a to b three roads are there three variety of roads are there and from b to c this is c b to c from diagram we can check that how many roads are there now four roads are there means b to c there are four connecting roads so what they are asking in how many ways a person can travel from a to c via b or d got it means we have to reach from a to c via b via b that it means via b we have to go for and again in another sense what we have to go for that is uh, a to c again we have to go but via d we have to go here right so via d how how we are going so a to d how many connecting roads are there connecting roads are two and from d to c you can see how many connecting roads are there are three connecting roads are there okay so what we can do over here that 
from A to C, total number of ways via B, how we can go. From A to C, now you can think what you have to do, multiplication rule or addition rule means from A to C, we have to go via B, right? So, 3 into 4 ways, 3 ways or 4 ways. Now, and we are using this, we have to go for A to B and B to C because we have to reach from A to C. So, we are using the word and that is the point only you have to notify. So, here 3 into 4 ways. So, total number of ways are 12 ways from A to C via B, via B what we are taking here, okay. Now, A to C via D. So, this is 2 ways and here 3 ways. So, here also we can say 2 into 3, 6 ways. Now, what you have to do? You see, this is the word or. Means, we can go from A to C via B or A to C via D or that is the word connecting with or. So, for or, what do you have to do? You have to use addition rule. So, total number of ways, total number of ways, you see, that is 12 plus 6 ways. Why we are using plus? Due to this or word. So, the answer is 18 ways. Total number of ways are 18. Hope so, you are getting. Let us we take some another question in the same manner. First, you pause the video and try yourself otherwise and then go through. Let us see another question. Now, here you see interesting question. Are you all getting hungry? Let us see. So, here a voucher we have. Suppose in any mall you went and uh, you got some voucher. In that voucher, there is a four course meals we have. Here we have four course meals. Now, four in four course meals, in one course there is burger, other course there is fries and here beverages and desserts. So, here what we can do that uh, how many burgers you have option? So, there are four variety of burgers. So, any way you can select uh, how many burgers you can select? Four ways. How fries, how can select? Three fries are there. How many beverages are there? So, three to five beverages are there. And how many cones, desserts are there? That is in desserts, we have uh, two options. So, how many ways you can, uh, uh, what is they are asking? Benefit this voucher. Choose one form each of the following categories to avail the benefit of the voucher. Means, we have to select uh, to avail the benefit of the voucher. The matter of the benefit is here. So, we have to select, we have not to leave anyone. We have to select any one of the burger, any one of the fries, any one of the beverages and any one of the dessert. So, all four burgers, we have option link with, we can link with all three fries. Each fries can link with all five uh, beverages and like that to dessert. So, what do you have to do? Definitely, you got it. The idea, what do we have to do? Fundamental multiplication rule as 4 into 3 into 5 into 2 ways. So, that is 4, 3, 12, 5, 2, 10, 120 ways. So, total 120 ways you can opt this meal. Let us take some another question. So, this is uh, one of the question here. If 12 students compete in a race, okay. So, you see, if 12 students compete in a race, number of ways in which the first three places can be taken. So, first three places can be taken. How we can use? By using fundamental multiplication rule. So, here you can see that is first place is there like this and second place is there and here third place is there, right. So, on the first place, second place and third place. So, any one of the in place uh, means any student will not come first, second, third all. So, we can't put a, all the students, any one of students on all th three places. The students who is there, that is the first place, how many total students are there? 12. So, first place can be first position, second position and third position to put over here. So, first place can be occupied by 12 ways. One of the students already engaged, how many left? 11 ways. And then after third position can be go for 10 ways. So, total number of ways, total number of ways. Now, you can uh, get to know what we have to, you think we have to addi make addition rule or multiplication rule. As first position, what we have to opt here, or or and 
first position and second position and third position are opted by these 12 students. So, 12 into 11 into 10. Whenever the word is a census, census here that it means and we have to go like this way. So, 132, 0 like this. So, in this way we can take our Okay, so let us we take some more, another question. Here you can see, you can also try yourself, easy question. Now there are four books, one each of physics, chemistry and mathematics and biology. Four subjects are there and four books are there, means one subject for each book. These books need to be arranged in four different boxes, okay. In how many ways can the box be arranged? Can the, not box, sorry, books be arranged? Only one book can go in one box. Okay, fine. So, we have to put one book in one box and then we have to arrange this books in the boxes. Like, like the same what we are putting the number. So, here two, uh, four boxes are there and physics, chemistry, mathematics, we have to go for here uh, in different, different books. So, total four books we have. What we can do? This place and let us say first, this is the first box. Let us say this is the second, third, fourth box. You can number any one of the boxes, right? So, what we are different boxes as here it is given that different boxes are there, that here different boxes are there, right? So, boxes are different. So, you can name the boxes, box number one, box number two, box number three, box number four. Now, the boxes are different. So, what we can conclude that in the first box, how many options we have? Physics, chemistry, mathematics, biology. So, four different ways. Now, one book already went there. Now, we have three options, three ways and here two ways and here one ways. In any one of them, PCMB, we can put any one of them. Let us say we selected mathematics first. We kept mathematics. Now, PCB has option. So, second box has only three options to go for this. And uh, third box, we have two options. We put any one of the book like this. So, we cannot put all four books in one because one box contains one, bo one book only. Only one book can go in one box. So, how many ways? Four into three into two into one ways. And that is called 24. Hope so clear. Let us take some other problem. Okay. So, look, look here, this one is, there are similar questions, similar question again. Now, there are four books you can do by your own self, is it? There are four books, one each of physics, chemistry, mathematics and biology. Again, books are four. Now, these books need to be arranged in five different boxes. In how many ways can the box be, can the books be arranged, right? Now, you see for here as a five different boxes are there and four books are there. So, first books has how many options? First books uh, has how many options? Any five uh, places first book you can keep over there, right? Because boxes are different. Now, you can see five different boxes are there. Right. So, now first book for physics that is uh, five boxes are there in these five boxes anyway. So, for physics, let us say physics or any one subject that is five ways we can do like this way now. Better we do like this way. Physics has how many options? Five options. Now, for chemistry, how many options? Four options, four box will be there. Mathematics, again, how many options? For mathematics, three box will be left because one box already engaged with physics, another box engaged with chemistry and three box left. Now, for biology, now again two boxes options are there. So, they can go by t two ways. So, multiplying this all, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 120 ways, total 120 ways. Hope so clear. Let us take another question. Now, a customer forgets the three-digit code of his automated teller machine, ATM machine, you know, that is. And here, automated teller machine card and uh, find the largest number of unsuccessful trials necessary to obtain the correct code, to correct code, how, how many ways, right, that you have to find out. So, 
in the first three ways again that the same question is there you see the log problem what we had done uh, previously just in the same lecture we had done the log problem three positions were there we have to unlock this how many ways that the same question you can see and you can resemble this also idea so on the three digit code three digit code means first digit second digit and on this three digit here on this three digit how many options we have we have 10 options now that is not a matter that here zero will not be there because we haven't to arrange three digit number we have to make a three digit code so zero can come on this place also so 10 ways here also in 10 ways here also in 10 ways so total number of unsuccessful trials are uh, here 10 to the power 3 so right total number of but here they are asking find the largest number of unsuccessful trial necessary to obtain the correct code and the correct code is only one so uh, total number this is not unsuccessful this is total number of trial so total number of unsuccessful trial minus this is one one is for successful this is total trials total trials and this is successful trial successful trials and unsuccessful trial is total number of number of unsuccessful trial unsuccessful trials is 10 to the power 3 minus 1 means there is 999 nine. that the same question we had done in uh, lock code problem let us take some other question now here you can see how many three digit even numbers can be formed from the digits 1 2 3 4 5 6 if the digits can be repeated okay so, if the digits can be repeated and uh, how many digit, three digit even numbers we have to find out. So, for three digit, we have to make three position. Now, the better is of digit. So, this place we can put here for even number, you know, that is here the number should be even. So, how many even numbers we have here? Two and here six. So, this can be filled in option two or six, any one of the number we can fill. So, how many ways we can uh, uh, put over here here two ways here you can say two ways now two ways number number now digits can be repeated digits can be repeated okay so you can repeat the digits how many total number of digits are six here six ways here six ways simple fundamental multiplication rule six into six into two ways right so 36 to 72 ways total 72 ways clear only three digit even numbers are there here we got even number head. Suppose if in the same question, if they ask a three digit odd numbers, then what do you have to do? You have to go same le level even number and for total number of ways, six into six. Suppose if they will ask in the same question, six digit, uh, three digit, no, not six digit, that is three digit, three digit, same question, three digit odd numbers, three digit odd numbers. So, total odd numbers that is 6 cube because digit is repeating over here, 6 digits are only there, 6 to the power 3 minus that is number of even numbers. So, that is 72. So, 216 minus 72. Rest of the numbers are all odd numbers. Okay. So, okay, let me see how many three digit even numbers can be formed from the digits 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So, in this question what we can do that 6 numbers are there and uh, we have to fill 3 digit even number. So, on this 3 places for even numbers what we can do that at even position there are how many numbers 2, 4, 6. So, unit place we can fill in 3 ways either we can put 2, 4 or 6. So, even means unit place we can fill this in three ways and rest of the place as repeated repetition is there so six ways and six ways so total number of ways are total number of ways are six into six into three that is 36 into three that is 108 this is total number of ways now let's go for another question is it okay hope so it's clear <clears throat> uh, suppose if in the same question if we go for odd numbers then total number of ways minus odd number as we have already seen suppose if the, in the question if they will ask like this way that instead of even number let's say for even number if we have to go for odd number then what we can do so for odd number uh, for odd number 
for odd number that is total minus total minus number of even numbers number of even numbers as total you can see that repetition is there so here what we can do that is this can be filled by six ways this can be also filled by six ways this can also be filled by six ways so six to the power three minus that what we got here the answer in the case of even number so number of even numbers was 108 i think so yes six into six into six into even numbers can be filled in six into six into three ways why three because this is two four six was there so six cube that is 216 36 and minus 108 base and like that we can solve this number of even odd numbers will if they will ask although for even number the answer is 108 let's go for another question <coughs> so we'll take one more interesting question that is from idj 1998 question which is uh, basically belongs to fundamental multiplication rules have a try an n digit number is a positive number with exactly n digits 900 n digit 900 what is uh, 900 n digit numbers are to be formed using only the three digits 257 by using 257 only we have to find out how many 900 digits okay so what is the smallest value of n for which this is possible an n digit number is positive number with exactly n digits okay 900 n digit numbers are to be formed okay 900 n digit numbers are to be formed 900 n digit numbers are to be formed using only three digits 257 okay so for n digit they are asking that it means what they are asking here let's see think about so here the places are n digits means this 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 dot 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 last digit also so first digit can be filled in how many ways we have a number in our options 257 we can fill we can go for 2 either 5 or 7 means how many ways 3 ways only this can be filled in first place can be filled in 3 ways second place can also filled with 3 ways right third place also we can fill with 3 ways okay and all other places up to n we can fill in 3 ways so what we can see here an n digit number is positive number okay that is clear exactly n digits exactly n digits okay 900 n digit numbers are to be formed using the three digit numbers 257 and what is the smallest value of n which is possible so it means 3 to the power n 3 to power n is smallest possible value of n so that the answer will be 900 right so 3 to power n may be greater or equal to or can say 900 so uh, means uh, up to 900 only we have to find out now so that, that we haven't to go for beyond uh, 900 we have to go for less than uh, that is less than 900 right so what we okay so this is a question from itj 1998 let me see it is nowadays we call j advanced question so an n digit number is a positive number with exactly n digit 900 n digit numbers are to be formed using only the three digits 257 what is the smallest value of n for which this is possible options are given 6 7 8 9 that we will see so what we can do here that is let me take this color okay so this 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 so on dot 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 total n positions are there in the first position second position third position and so on up to n position we can fill which numbers only we have option two five seven so this place can be filled in three ways this can fill be also three ways this can also fill be three three ways and all the places we can fill in three different ways so what we have to do we have to use fundamental multiplication rule so let's say where it's gone again okay let me draw again and so on so all the places can be filled in three ways three ways three ways three ways so total number of ways <coughs> total number of um, what we have to find out n digit number n digit n digit number that we can say three to the power n okay because you see three into three into three how many threes are there up to n threes are there so for n3s we have to find 3 to power n ways 
so three power n total numbers we have but here they are saying that 900 n digit numbers are to be formed means 3 to the power n should be greater or equal to 900 so <clears throat> we can put any values which we can get make a greater or equal to 900 but we have to go for what is the smallest value of n for which is possible so let's we try for 6 so 3 to power 4 that is 81 and 9 Uh, 3 to power. If we go to check for 6, uh, so for n equal to 6, what we will get here? Let's see. 3 to power 6. So that we can write uh, 3 to power 4 and 3 to the power 2. So that is 81 into 9. So 729. But uh, 729 is no more greater than 900. So we have to go for 7. Let's see. Go for 7. That is let's say 729 into Again three, so yeah, of course it is greater than nine hundred. So n equal to seven will be our answer. So n equal to seven is working over here. So by seven we can get greater than nine hundred. Of course eight and nine will be also there, but they are asking smallest value of n. So n seven eight nine will work, but smallest value will be n equal to seven. So answer is n equal to seven. Okay, hope so clear. Let's take some more questions. So these are the good examples of fundamental multiplication rule <coughs> okay one more question we have in the same zone let's see that is find the number of ways to distribute four prizes among five students if no students get all the prizes means all the prizes we have to give one any one of the student we have to give four prizes among five students okay so four prizes among five students are there as students are five so find the number of ways to distribute four prizes every student can get any number of prize that no, no matter okay so four prizes how we will distribute among four student four prize we can give any one of the students let's say five uh, first prize find the number of ways to distribute four prizes to five students if no student get any number of prizes any one of the prizes right so let's say first prize first prize we can give any one of the five student we are giving first prize to any one of the student so first prize can be uh, considered for how many ways five ways it's okay so first prize uh, we can go for any one of the student so first prize we can opt five ways got it point means uh, what you have to do you have to distribute this four prizes among five students correct okay so first prize if we uh, first prize can be uh, given to any one of the four any one of the five students so first prize first prize can be obtained first prize prize we can give how many ways five ways to any one of the five student correct now you see second prize if i have to distribute second prize second prize now how many now it is not saying that any one student will score uh, will obtain any one of only one prize not like that uh, any student can obtain any number of the prize no matter so second prize also we can give five ways five ways means in that in other words you can say that the repetitions is allowed so that of okay so similarly th for third prize also again five ways right and now fourth prize also fourth prize also how many ways five ways so total number of ways to distribute these four prizes are of course now you can make the sense of fundamental multiplication rule so total number of ways you can say 5 into total total number of ways to distribute the prize to distribute the prize distribute the prizes prizes so 5 into 5 into 5 into 5 because uh, four prizes are there okay so all four prizes are distributed by 4 5 power 4 5 5 25 25 25 times 625 so total number of ways are 625 sorry uh, 625 ways okay so 625 fine so what we can do 625 ways but here they are saying that if no student get all the prizes so how many ways uh, any one of the student get all the prizes 
think about. So, four prizes, if we get, uh, take all the four prizes to any one of the student, uh, to another student, to another student, how many total students are there? Five prizes. So, as we have to discard those student, uh, those uh, situations in this 625, those situation in which if no student gets all the prizes they are asking, so means all student get, any one student get all the prizes. In how many ways, how many ways any one student, then again we have to count, uh, how many ways any one student get all the prizes. So, number of ways, number of ways in which, in which um, any one student, any one student can receive, can receive, receive all the prizes, all the prizes you can say, all the prizes is how many total number of ways? Five, five ways because total number of students are five. Now you see, so therefore, therefore total number of ways to uh, distribute all the prizes so that if no student gets all the prizes, required number of ways you can say, required number of lesser space, so I am writing like this way, required number of ways 625 minus 5, that is answer is 620, so final answer is 620, hope so clear, 5 ways we have to subtract and that is your answer. <coughs> Fine. Let us take some another question. Here there is an interesting question. There are five doors to enter and exit an auditorium, but the same door cannot be used to enter and exit the auditorium. In how many ways can a student enter and exit or the audit auditorium? Here you mind this point and a word is there and you get the idea of uh, what is the significance of and. So, there are five doors to enter. So, entrance is five and exit on auditorium, but the same door cannot be used. So, whatever the door he are using, that door uh, you have to avoid and rest how many doors will left? Four doors. So, that uh, means same door cannot be used to enter and exit the auditorium. In how many ways can a student enter or exit the auditorium? So, total number of ways are 5 into 4 and nothing to do, simple question is there. Due to this and word, the answer will be total number of ways are 5 into 4 that is 20 ways and that is the answer. Okay, for, so let me take the another question that is J main 2019 question. Find the number of natural numbers less than 7000 that can be formed using the digits 0, 1, 3, 7, 9. And uh, you see, so uh, 9 and repetition of digit is allowed, okay. So that the options are there, we will see what we can do. So will you figure it out? Uh, oh, you can say here that is less than 7000 we have to find out, 0 is also there. If 0 is the, not there, then the uh, case is little easy. But 0 that you have to careful about that making the 2 digit, 3 digit, you have not to place the higher digit or as position means like, like suppose we have considering 3 digit number. So, on the 100 place you have to avoid 0 that we have to cautious about this while doing calculation. Let us see. How. So, here as 7000 there are 4 digit numbers. So, we can opt for is starting, we can make here how many cases will be there? Four cases will be there. So, let us say go for case 1. Case 1. If digit is only single digit number means if digit is 1, one digit number, if digit is 1, then for one digit number, which numbers are responsible here? 0 we cannot use. So, 1, 3, 7 and 9. So, you can see four different ways we can use here. So, uh, 1, 3, 7, 9 ways, right. So, 0, 1, 0 is not use, in use, now 1, 3, 7, 9. So, total four ways, four ways we can select one digit number. We can select here four ways. Now, case 2, case 2, okay. So, for case 1 and case 2, we have to make the sense of or, right. Here we have to make the sense and inside the case, but uh, different cases we have to make the sense of or. Later on we have will uh, add the result from case 1, case 2, case 3, case 4. Case 2, 
in case 2 we see if the digit is two digit number let uh, take two digit number for two digit number two digit numbers what we can do so for two digit number you can do like this uh, first place you can't fill zero so how many number of ways that the total numbers are three two five so this can be filled in four ways but this we can fill five ways because repetition is of digit is allowed so total number of ways are four into five that is 20 ways this is for two digit number by this point now what about case three let me take here case three if three digit numbers are there if three digit number are there for three digit numbers let's see over here first place we can fill here how many ways again four ways this place we can fill with five ways this place we can fill with again five ways so here we can use four into five into five ways so that is 100 ways okay now what do we go for case four four case that is let's say we have to go for fourth case in the fourth case what we can do that now here one more thing you have to consider that the number greater than seven means greater than seven numbers we can't use so which number you can use seven we can't use uh, and uh, ten also we can't use right so nine nine we can't use no? seven nine we can we can't use and zero we can't use so what number we can use here uh, that is no the sorry the number we have to go for less than seven thousand yes one and three we can use only so we can use one and three not seven also so one and three so this can be filled in two ways two ways and so this other th other numbers now we zero we can use so zero we can use again five five ways and five ways so total number of ways for four digit numbers two into five into five into five so that is 125 into 2 250 ways so total number of ways are therefore total number of ways we have to add this all so total number of ways are you can see that is uh, where 4 plus 20 why we are adding the sense of or 4 plus 20 plus uh, 100 and plus 250 so what we can say here 250 that is uh, 350 and 24 so 374 so the answer is check 100 250 plus 20 plus 4 374 where is 374 a option is correct 374 okay